<coughs> okay, I want to get started. First of all, congratulate Fresno State. Kalen DeBoer's done a great job, and uh, they had a good plan, came in. Uh, we were going to need to win the turnover margin, and we failed miserably on that. Uh, I thought our guys played hard, but we've got to play smarter and do a much better job taking care of the football. Obviously, we've got to generate some points. And we're, we're in a real tailspin, and it's a it's important that I don't make any broad-based comments right now until we watch the tape, but if you just look at productivity, you've got six quarters without scoring any points, and that's going to be tough to beat anybody. I think part of that, though, is anytime you turn the ball over the number of times we turn it over, uh, it's going to be hard to do much good anyhow. So that being said, I'll open it up to questions that are here. Greg, I know you need some time to think about it, but just what's your feeling right now about the quarterback situation? Well, yeah, I appreciate you bringing it up. and. Uh, I want to take a hard look at the tape. There's things that I think you see on the sidelines. I've got a gut feeling, but I, I just want to, I think uh, we need to, to to cull through that. I need to cull through it. I need to spend some time with Tim, see what what are we doing? What's our identity? Uh, where are we misfiring? Uh, I, I will say this is that I don't have rose colored glasses on. We've got to do a, a, a rework. And I don't think it's just a little tweak here or there. I think uh, we need to, we need to kind of, um, it's always dangerous to completely reshuffle everything, uh, but I'll look at the two quarterbacks and we'll make a call this next week. Greg, did you think about going to Levi in the center in that one? I did. Uh, the, the series before, we looked at that. Uh, Sean had been making some plays, but um, I thought about it and we talked about it. Um, anytime you make a quarterback change, it's a pretty major change, particularly when you have a captain. But um, didn't do it. Uh, we did get Levi in there. We'll take a look at how Levi did. Coach, our rush game got going a bit in the second half. Mm -hmm. But are you, how concerned are you just with the amount of times those backs are getting hit at or near the line? Yeah, I, I was real concerned about that today. You know, our traditional tailback runs, we, we, we need to be able to do much better. And whether we're missing some cuts, uh, whether we're not getting movement at the point of attack, uh, you know, some perimeter blocking, all those things have come into play. But nonetheless, I don't think we're running the ball nearly as well as what we should. We've made a concerted effort, and we put a lot of time and effort into our running game, and it, it certainly is not uh, proving very beneficial here. Greg, uh, as frustrated as the offensive part is right now, what, what is your thought on holding Hayner in the mm -hmm. yard? And just yeah, I thought uh, – no, I thought our defense did some excellent things out there today. He's a, he's a really good quarterback, and he's been pr productive uh, pretty much against everybody with the except – well, even with White, he was productive. He just threw a lot of picks. And so he's really good. And so I think we did some good things up there. I thought we established a line of scrimmage and forced him into some throwing situations, and uh, we came up and, and – uh, um, you know, we'll take a look at the tape because a lot of times you think it's pretty good and then you'll watch it the next day. But nonetheless – I thought with where the defense was put in play, uh, the number of times that we had to be out there, I thought that there were some positive things, and we need to build on that. Greg, you were supposed to be able to, you know, hit your wagon to this big, old offensive mm -hmm. line. Where do you think things are going wrong for those guys up front? Well, I got to take a look at the tape on that. We all have to take a look at the tape. Um, you know, sometimes there's some things that come into play, whether, you know, we're not getting movement. Uh, I think that came into play sometimes, not sustaining some blocks. Sometimes the backs are missing some cuts, and so that's kind of a trifecta, and it wasn't uh, – neither one of them, all three were not good. What is Sean's confidence level like right now? I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a chance. I, I did tell him we were going to put Levi in. I know he was engaged on the sidelines. Um, you know, I'll probably have a long conversation with him. He's a competitive guy, and he's an all-team player. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Yep. <coughs> Shows up. Uh, Gandhi, Crawl, Chambers. Okay, so we have Gandhi, Crawl, and Chambers on the line. Do we have enough of those kind of things? You got it. Yep.
But yes. Trying to so Thinking about the day in terms of the turnover needs, some of them were tipped and that was just reinforcing things or just not seeing them. No, it's just football. Um, some some were bad throws, and some they just made a play on, tipped the ball, and fell into their hands. It's just football. What's your confidence level like, Sean? It's not. It's not. It's not wavering. I mean, I, I know what I can do, and I know I can do it well. So it's not wavering. What do you think you guys need to do to kind of kickstart the offense in six quarters in a row without scoring? I think we need to get back to the basics. You know, um, it's kind of embarrassing getting shut out, and I take that you know mainly on my shoulders. Um, we need to get back to the basics and. Uh, start from square one. Sean, I think it's been seven drives in the opponent's territory without any points. You know, what are the things you think that are kind of hindering the offense when you get in those situations? A lot of things. Um, I can't pinpoint one one thing. It could be a lot of things. So I, I couldn't sit here and tell you exactly what it is. Are you uh, prepared to fight your job this week? Perhaps? I'm always, I'm always a competitor. You know, I'm always going to compete. I'm always going to go out there and get my best. So, yep. Anything else for Sean? David, um, on that on that drive in the first half, was it sacked you or the rest of you was sacked on you? How how difficult was it to set that call? It was definitely difficult. I don't know why. I don't. Maybe it was forward progress. Why they blew the whistle? I I don't have an understanding on it. But um, it's definitely difficult, and not even to get it to um, a review either, which was kind of. Head scratching, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, we can't let referees control the game, and we can't, you know, leave it up to them. Sean, with the way that you just played, do you think it's just a matter of protecting the ball and you guys you know, can start feeling off some of the ones up? Definitely, definitely. I mean, the defense played their tails off. You know, they played, they played great. You know, they led the, one of the, you know, leading passers in all the nation to, I don't know how many yards, but they, they played great. And, you know, we got to, we got to stay on the field and help those guys out somehow. Order has been placed. Order has been placed. <laughs> Am I tearing this down right after? Well, I want to shoot this camera out and put it on my dog. So do you want me to pull up cables or no? 
Should I pull up cables? Or... No, 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 I mean when it's over. Yeah, I think it is actually. Garrett Carl's on his way. Garrett Carl is on his way.
All right, Josh, why don't you go ahead and start us off, Gary? Hey, Gary, no, not the result you wanted, but, you know, defense held Painter to season low in passing. You know, what was your overall uh, thoughts, I guess, on the defense's performance today? You know, I think uh, we showed a lot of resiliency um, in how we played. Uh, you know, we came out and had a really good first series. Uh, you know, they tried to hit us a couple of runs plays, and then they tried to go to the pass, and I think we honestly held them to doing neither. Uh, you know, they're going to make a couple of plays here and there. Um, but overall, I think that we did a really good job of being resilient, uh, holding in positions that we might not have had great field position to start. Um, but, you know, at the, bottom, at the end of the day, uh, I just love these guys on defense. And I told them that during the game. I was like, I was like, hey, I love you guys. Just keep fighting, keep clawing, like just do your job every play and do what we can. Gary, you and Sean are close. You've been here a long time together. Yeah. How hard is it to see uh, him struggle so badly, get benched, and have you said anything to him? I haven't yet. Uh, you know, I know that sometimes uh, – I know that Sean's going to be hearing a lot from a lot of people. Um, and I I mean, the guy is a war. No one ever has a question whether he's a warrior. Uh, he works hard every single day he is here. Uh, whether that is in the weight room, the training room, or on the practice field, he's working his tail off. Um, he's came here and been given more bad injuries than about anybody on this roster, and he's fought his way back. Um, it's not the last you're going to see of him, I can tell you that. Uh, and he wasn't in there in the locker room crying. He wasn't in there moping either, and he wasn't like that on the sideline, and he's not going to be like that. That's not who Sean is. And he's going to come back on Monday, and he's going to be working to get – to be in New Mexico, and that's just how it's going to be from him. Uh, that's why, you know, if I had to go to war with a guy, I'm freaking bringing him with me. And I, I mean, the same thing's going to continue. Gary, you guys obviously had the midpoint of the season and back to back just one loss. As one of the leaders on the team, how do you see things standing right now ahead of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think in both of these losses that we've had, uh, you can turn on the film and it's not that the talent and the effort wasn't there uh, from this team. Uh, it's not, it's not an issue of, uh, of talent. You know, there's been years in the past where you can say a team just flat out beat you. And I don't think that's the case. Um, I think that, you know, we just got to be able to uh, start fast on both sides of the ball um, and just keep rolling, you know, because we have that there. And this is, this is the tightest team most family-like team, the most loving team I've ever been around. And I've been around a lot of guys and a lot of teams, but this is the closest team. And, you know, when it hurts for fans or it hurts for everyone, I can tell you how bad it hurts all, all of us because we go out there and battle every week and we battled all summer and winter. And so it's just, it's, it's really frustrating for us. But, you know, the great thing is, is we're going to come back and have great attitudes this week and we're going to go beat New Mexico. And we're just going to keep going from there because at the end of the day, it's two losses and they aren't fun, but we can still control what we can control and that's to win out. And we have every bit of a chance to do that and all the talent and, you know, the coaching and everything to do that. So we just got to control what we can control. How close do you think you guys were to, I know you shut Hayner down, but to getting after him a little bit more and maybe pulling him <coughs> out. Sorry. Um, you know, uh, we were, we were, uh, you know, we obviously want to see the sack numbers go up, but we knew going into the game that, you know, playing defensive line isn't always just about the number of sacks you get, or the defense isn't always about just the sack number. And I think that's some, one thing you have to recognize is how many times does he have does he have a clean pocket to step into? If he has a clean pocket to step into and he's dicing us up, but we have five sacks, is that really like good, you know? And so that's one thing I think we were doing a good job on is making making him move in the pocket, trying to get his eyes to drop. And I think we were helping the guys in the back end with that. Um, now, if you look at it, uh, vice versa, there 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 was sometimes where we didn't, and the guys in the back end had it handled. And that's when we got him to run around and got him for a first down or something. So um, with a guy like that, you just can't let him step up. And I think as a D-line, we let him do that today. And besides, I think one scramble, he didn't get out all day. So, you know, I was happy with that aspect. But 
there's not, we just gotta we just gotta try to get you know try to get the ball, uh, and that's one thing we're gonna focus on is that's where you can create turnovers, those getting sacks and sack fumbles, and that's what we need to do today to get better field position for the offense. Here, what we do off the field as a leader on this team this mm-hmm. week to make sure confidence is still there. Yeah, I, you know, I think for me is just to keep just approaching the week like we approach, you know, even like winter conditioning or fall camp or whatever, you know, we set out these goals and some guys are going to feel completely deflated. Well, the Mountain West is a good conference this year and teams are going to fall, you know, and so we can't let, we can't hurt ourselves more. And so I think that's what I got to preach is just control what we can control and keep working every day because if we keep working every day and we keep getting better um, because we're going to face you know a tough stretch and if we're playing our best football there we're going to set ourselves up for still reaching our goals you know I think that's the most important thing is you know maybe people on the outside are going to say the season's over the season's not over we just got to keep going at it and I can tell you those guys are going to keep going at it yeah people are mad right now but I know this team you know more than anyone and guys are going to show up and play and I promise you that Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Yep. Yep, we're going right now. Yep. All right, guys. We got Isaiah here. Cody wants to start us off. So, yeah, so uh, how tough is it to be on defense and playing as well as you guys did, shutting down Hayner today, but the offense just isn't carrying their weight? Um, as a defense player, we just focus on like what we can do. You feel me? Um, we just don't worry about the offense. So we know they're going to get it eventually. We just got to keep hammering. That's why we just kept fighting to the very end. Did a really good job of containing Hayner. He's been lighting up defenses all year long. You know, what was the thing that impressed you the most about the way defense playing today? Um, I feel like we, um, when a challenge comes, we always step up to the challenge. You know? I just feel like as a defense, like we embrace challenges. And uh, I just feel like we just stepped up and embraced it today. What goes to your mind when you Sit right here and the rest of the map, the impassioned statement about you know, what you think can still happen. Yeah, um, I really think like we still got a chance to do big things. Um, I don't think the season's over. Um, we got what we halfway through, right? So we got six more games. Um, season really just getting started, uh, and I feel like we can win out the rest of our games. You know, I just feel like we just got to continue, um, keep working, come in on Monday ready to work, and I feel like that's what we're all going to do. How tough has it been for you guys to see, you know, Sean get benched and, and, you know, you've been around this program a long time too, just like him. Yeah. How tough is that for you to see that? And it's hard. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be a quarterback. You know what I mean? Um, it's a very hard position. Um, like, um, seeing Sean get benched, it sucks, but, um, but I just I just worry about the defense. I really don't get too much into the offense and stuff. Seems like, you know, that Brom Weber play was been- Play, mm-hmm. just, you know, third and goal, not yeah. out. How did you guys kind of bounce back from that? Well, it was a it was a nice play, a big play. Um, uh, we just we always make next play. You know, Braden Braden's been starting, um, so it was like it, we didn't really miss a beat. You know, um, but Ron was a big um, big part of our our defense, so it definitely would have helped. But we played we played great today. So. Anything else for Isaiah? Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you. Thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.